guys, my name is Bianca Davis. And I'm Caroline Sanchez. And we're so excited because this is our first ever episode of What's Tea, Sis? And we have a very Very. special episode in store for you today. So sit back, relax, and get your teacups because we're about to be serving. Hopefully you like that intro though because we had to fall multiple times and it was very, very cold. Which reminds us, October has just begun. Just begun. This is why we went around campus to ask some very important questions. Check it out. Hey guys, Bianca and I are at Murano Campus Center where we're going to ask the very important question. Have your standards for your bay gone up since the beginning of October? I think we've just gotten word that it's cuffing season. Let's see what people say. What are three things you look for in a significant other? I guess boobs count as two. Okay. Yeah, keeping it, keeping the relationship fresh, always coming up with new ideas, what you want to do, you know. You just got a surprise her with flowers or something like that, you know. You got money? I'm, okay. I'm a college student, what do you think? I'm a supporter. Okay. I feel like they should have, like, the things that I don't have that I want to add to my life. Like what? Like what? I don't know. Like, like money? Nah, no, not <laughs> See, you ain't gonna <laughs> Are you saying that you have money? You know, <laughs> nah. Money. I need money. Because, you know, I'm in college right now. So this is bro- I'm broke, but I need money. So if you got money. <laughs> what are your top three things in a man or a woman or whatever you love? Because that's okay. <laughs> I guess I really care about whether or not she has a fat booty. <laughs> Valid. Um, motherly love. Oh, oh okay. That's um, kind of weird. <laughs> um, they gotta smell good. Mm-hmm. Like what? <laughs> you know, like cologne or something. A good smelling cologne. Mm-hmm. She gotta be. She gotta smoke. She gotta Ooh, smoke weed. Bad. Oh, heard you. Drugs are bad. You gotta match my weirdness type. Um, you have to be spontaneous. You know, throw that deodorant on every day type <laughs> Oh, is that spontaneous? <laughs> no. Some people, some people want to be funny and not put it on every day, so, okay. Nice. They're funny and they're clean. <laughs> mm, have you had an experience where they weren't clean? Yeah, it's like everything's just like a mess. Um, like and like sisterly love, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't promote incest on our show. <laughs> Uh, honest. Okay, that's good. Honesty and height. All right. Do you care if they're four feet? <laughs> All right. You got you to gotta, you gotta be a little taller than me. What if he's like five, six? You got to have a great personality. <laughs> <laughs> one more question. One more question. Do you sleep with socks on or off? Off. Off. Okay, good. On. Socks on. Oh, what the Get out. <laughs> socks off. What? Who sleeps with their socks on? You would be surprised. <laughs> you would be surprised. Do you sleep with your socks on or socks off? That's confidential. I'm sorry. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been hours, and I still don't know why his sock situation was confidential. Neither do I. (laughs) What do you do? I'm interested. Obviously, I take my socks off. That's really weird. Yeah, it's like the blanket situation. You know, like, do you sleep with the blanket on or off? On, of course. Yeah, people who sleep with their socks on, I feel like they're just getting ready to murder. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, like, (laughs) they're preparing for the next step. Because they don't even have the, they don't need the time to put on their socks to go murder. Yeah. Um, How about your standards? So. They're pretty kind of high. But you know it's kind of weird, yeah. that motherly love thing? That was very I'm strange. Thinking, <laughs> did he answer about his socks? Because I feel like he would keep his socks on. Because I feel like motherly love and the socks on, kind of like Norman Bates. I feel like he's a murderer. <laughs> I think we were too shocked to ask him about the socks. Because he said motherly love, then he went on to sisterly love. And then he just said just someone who loves him. So <laughs> it just got, I mean, I it got really sad yeah. really quick. <laughs> It got from incest to sad. It was very deep, though. We cut it out, but I, like, midway, I was just like, do you just want a family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he was looking for. But what yeah. about your standards, though? Um, yeah. I want money. 
money. So if anybody so you agreed with the girl with money, yeah. And money. I think a lot of the girls were like, "No, we don't want money," but they're lying because you don't want to date a bum. Or but do you? also, we're in college, so a lot of the people are poor, and I know I'm poor, so that's not a big priority of mine. Height, yes, because I'm kind of tall. I feel like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that that girl was talking about how height was important to her, mm -hmm. but she said she was 5'5", five five and that it was okay like if he was 5'6". Yeah. But everybody always talks about f six foot. You know what I mean? Six feet. Yeah. yeah. Six foot. <laughs> six feet. <laughs> like yeah. six feet. <laughs> but I understand. I, I understand where she was coming from. Well, we all have different type of standards. So, guys, we're going to head into commercial when we're... When we come back, we're going to get into hot topics. Yes. And it's going to be good. Some hot, hot tea. Say, President Stanley, whenever there's bad weather, who would you turn to? I'd turn to Storm Team 10. No, right but here. you've got to say it like this. Storm Team 10. Say it with me. Storm, Storm Team, Team 10. 10. So good to see you guys. So, what's up? Oh, we finally bought a place. Holy cow. You seriously have enough saved to do that? We've been putting a little aside each month. Mm -hmm. Jeez, by the end of the month, we have nothing left to save. Yeah, I have no idea where it goes. Well, you're mm -hmm. spending a lot on... Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh, God. Oh, how is my account overdrawn? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. returning guys now let's get into this juicy gossip yes let's get to it so yesterday cardi b turned herself in and she was like shortly released right after but um she was charged with endangerment and assault assault yes <laughs> assault <laughs> can we look at this picture and how amazing she looks how she happy looks she was so great yes she, she's she like not even bothered at all um she was charged with endangerment and assault um after an incident at a nightclub, I think in August, a Queens nightclub um, yeah, which involving is kind two bartenders. Of heartbreaking, because I'm from Queens. I feel like mm -hmm. I just got attacked personally, because yeah. I love Cardi. But do you think she did it on purpose, because she doesn't like Nikki? Well, no, who no, no. lives in Queens. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it was a rumor that the, both of these girls, who the altercation started with, um, was because they were rumored to be sleeping with Offset, I believe? Yeah. Yes, and um, they said that people on Cardi's team attacked them with the bottles mm -hmm. and assaulted them. What do you think? How do you feel about I this? I think that Cardi's really petty. I can't imagine her I can, asking I people. can definitely picture this happening. But it's I can not also too imagine her being like, I didn't do anything. And well, these are both of the girls. Um, they're sisters, actually, too. Oh, that's so. weird. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, both of these sisters. Because if they cheated out with Offset together, that's odd. Very, very odd. Very odd. Like, they, they do it as a team. <laughs> like, it's got really it's weird. Team so if you had the power to fight the woman who, like, your boyfriend was cheating with, would you? No. If you could get away with it? You wouldn't? Oh. Do they know me? She has more heart than me. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> you would fight them? Yeah. Oh, or get them beat up? Oh, yeah. Get them. Wait, would you fight them or get them beat up? I mean, if they know me, like, personally, then that would be different. Uh-huh. Like, if that was you, like, my actual friend, then that's a different story. Oh, but if I was with your man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, if that so-called happened, like, Caroline, I, which would never happen, but 
yeah, if that happened, then that would be different. But if it's just two random girls, that it would be out of my hands. I feel like that's extra petty. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get no. your team to beat them up. I would get my team to beat him up. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah. I would actually get my team to expose him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I wouldn't be with him. Like you're. That's the thing about Cardi. She's always focused on. On the, the woman. People. Yeah, she's yeah. focused on the wrong people. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. When she should be fighting offset. But she's never getting over that, I don't think. Do you think she'll of, ever get over it? Some type of girls think all men cheat, so she's not going to ever leave him. Yeah, so she's true. blaming the girls instead of actually blaming offset. Plus she has a kid. Oh, yeah, that's so. different. They have a kid and they're married, so that's like different standards. But that's even weirder. Like, Imagine your kid grows up and then you find out that your mom made you go beat up. What? <laughs> Go beat up a bunch of women. Like, imagine being Cardi's kid mm-hmm. and finding that out. That'll be pretty embarrassing. Like, having knowing that she stayed with him through all these cheating allegations. That's why social media is crazy. There's, like, so much pictures and stuff. But so, talking about social media, in recent news, the singer Kylie Uchi's posted a picture with our favorite person ever, Drake. Drake! <laughs> our, and it our wasn't, fave. it's... It was. It's not a good story, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good story. We both we both stand for Kylie and I love Drake. Kylie. Yeah, so we did. It's we a pretty heartbreaking. But um, recently she posted this photo on her Instagram of them too. He came to one of her shows. I believe they were in Dallas. And after that, she has to turn off her Instagram comments. Yeah, because they got shady. Because she's friends with Georgia Smith, which if anybody doesn't know, they're rumored to be Drake's ex girlfriends. There's yes. many songs. Um, Georgia Interlude. Georgia's he literally interlude. has a song called Georgia Georgia's interlude. interlude. Yes, and they have the song Get It Together as yeah. well. And and there's been like three songs off Scorpion that people say is about Georgia. Yeah, a few couple songs. Um, I believe Jaded, they think it's about her. And also Summer Games? I think so. But yeah, so basically Georgia and Kali are friends and so that's Georgia's rumored ex. Yeah, so, so our question for each other is would you be able to work with your friend's ex no <laughs> no that's no. weird no, no, no i think no. even being in the same room is weird yeah because i get uncomfortable easily so yeah we are them, very anxious people yeah and then also noting but that is drake and drake can really boost her career oh yeah because he's a scorpio <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's so comfortable because both kali and georgia aren't major artists at the drake level yeah, yeah 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 so if your friend's ex was drake would you decide to work with him? Well, yeah, I would do anything for Drake. So that's, that's I would lose true. a, I would lose a friendship. Sorry, Beyonce. Peace. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I'm gonna get famous, which she, he's, she's gonna get so much recognition. Yeah, for she's just definitely even taking a picture with Drake. Yeah, more people. How many know people she didn't is. even know her, and now like she has to like disable her comments. Like that would have never happened if she had never taken a picture. People with Drake. think that's his new girlfriend, or yeah. she's getting hate comments. Which is for being weird because she friend. has a boyfriend for many years, but, but a lot of people don't, don't know that because she's not that famous yet. Yeah. That's why. How would you feel if you were Georgia? Or do you think they talked about this beforehand? I think they talked about it beforehand. But if I was Georgia, I would block Kali. <laughs> I'd be like, that's so weird. Like, I really have music with him. Like, you're weird. Right? I feel like if my friend didn't tell me about this beforehand, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm blocking you. But yeah. yeah. Let's move on to some crazier news. That mostly everyone knows about that you should know about. We all know that Kanye has been having a mental breakdown over the past yeah. year. Yeah, he's been a mess. <laughs> As you can see in that picture, he's been a mess physically and mentally, just a little everything. Bit of both. Um, during this past weekend, he was um, the guest host on SNL, so he performed and talked. And he went on a little, kind of a short mini rant after his performance, or in between his performance. We have a clip that we're about to show you guys. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to pull it up now for you. How he is not. Well, anyway, Kanye was performing and he proceeded to give a speech oh. that explained his reasoning for supporting Trump. Yeah. So we're going to show you the clip now. You see, they laughing at me. You heard them, they scream at me. They bully me. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay. I'm gonna listen to y'all now. Or I'm gonna put my Superman cape on. Cause this means you can't tell me what to do. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. That's how we're controlled. 
That's how we're programmed. If you want the world to move forward, try love. All I gotta say is, what? The, Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> what is wrong with him? He's losing his <laughs> he mind. He like put on his hat and he's like, I am Superman. This like, is my Superman cape. <laughs> I was like, this guy is he's, on he's drugs. Losing it. Chris Rock also posted a video um, of him laughing and also the crowd yeah. in the background. Chris Rock couldn't even take it. Yeah. Like, he's in the back just going. <laughs> he can tell that this is a joke and people were booing him. So I guess Kanye got in his feelings a little bit over that. Yeah. He says something along the lines of um, if he was... If he really thought America was racist, he would have left, which is like so mind boggling to me. Like, oh no, if he really cared about America being racist, he would have left. Yeah, but he's a fool because they're racist everywhere. But <laughs> also, do you not care about America being racist? That's like the bigger question. And like, then he wears sneezing. a hat saying, make America great again. Like, how like, are you contradicting yourself? He thinks yourself? that hat is going to change and fix all of America problems. Um, but yeah, it, it's his Superman cape, apparently. It's going to come and He really thinks it's day. protecting him, but it's just making him look stupid, like really stupid. And also, if anybody hasn't seen the performance on SNL, it was horrendous. It was bad. He was like dressed up as like a soda can or something. Him and Little Pump. They're it both was dressed really up bad. in Coke bottles. But they couldn't even curse, so then the song was just trash. Yeah, I don't get why they even decided it to perform that. It was just trash. That. He has so many more I songs don't that he could have why he does do. anything he does. Neither do I. What would you do if you were in the crowd? <laughs> <laughs> I would be booing. I would be recording like Chris Rock and I would be laughing. And he definitely is in the fucking place. He mentioned that in yeah, the video. Yeah, he is. He's still there. Like, I'd be like, Connie, are you good? <laughs> my question like is, yelling. what is Kim, like, what is she doing? Mm -mm. She's just standing back. She doesn't really care. What does she have to care for? She already has money there, millionaire. Oh, I was just talking about this with you. Kanye's 41 years old. 41. He's 41. 41. He has children. Three. <laughs> and he's like being psycho on SNL, on live TV. Like, that's so weird to me. That's true. He's three kids. What do you, do you think like they talk about this at all when they get home? Or is she, Kim's just quiet? I think that Kim is just a quiet person. She probably just like accepts it. I feel like she doesn't <laughs> care. Like, why does she have to care about? It? No matter what she does, she'll be fine. So I cannot, I cannot be married to someone like this. I'm like, you need to get it together. You're it's a from good thing we Chicago. won't be married Your to anyone like this. Your mother would not support this. <laughs> but guys, we're gonna go to a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna have a very special, very guest special guest, and we're and gonna a little be talking bit more about tea. important things. Yeah, voting. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. All the things you've done with your bike, donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. And then she was like, yeah, and I was like, no, and then she was like, yeah, and I was like, yeah. Was like, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, what? Ryan just texted me. Oh my god, what did he say? Netflix and chill? Netflix and chill? That's like so last year. It's all about WTOP movies on demand and chill. You are so right. WTOP 10, Movies on Demand. Thanks 
for staying tuned, guys. Tonight's guest, Connor Breeze, is joining us to spread a very important message, which is... Voting! <laughs> Sorry. Connor, <laughs> do you want to give us a brief description of yourself, your yeah. mission? Sure. So, uh, as a student, I've been heavily involved with all the different projects we have going on on campus in terms of getting students registered to vote. It's always been a really big thing for me in terms of making sure that we're getting students mm -hmm. and their voices, um, just making sure that they are doing the best they can to get their voice out there, just making sure that they're participating in the political process. Because a big problem that we see is that not enough young students are mm -hmm. actually participating. Uh, last midterm election, we had fewer than 9% of the students on this campus vote, and that's terrible. It's like if you walked into a classroom, and of the 20 people there, two of them like you know, actually <laughs> found a voting booth. Right. It just shows how few people have actually um, actually <laughs> gone through the process of registering to vote, of actually getting their voices out there. So that's the challenge that me and plenty of other students working on all sorts of projects in terms of getting students registered to vote are going through right now. We're just trying to get people mobilized. And it's because it's important. We're trying to help people help themselves find their voice, especially politically. It's one thing if you're sharing things on Facebook and you're retweeting and you're talking about all the things that bother you in the world, but when you get down to it, you've got to vote for something in the mm -hmm. end because that's how the issues that you care about are being put into laws, policies, as well as the people speaking on behalf of those issues. Because it doesn't matter if you're just sitting there telling people how you feel. It's when you take that extra step, when you take that action, that it really does make all the difference and that you actually get to see your change. You get to make your own little mark on like the world in terms of making sure that you are uh, actually making that change, actually being effective in getting your opinions across and getting your worldview across even. Why do you think that a lot of college students don't vote? Do you think that they're afraid that their voice doesn't matter? I don't think it's that they don't think their voice is going to matter as much. I think it's just that people are incredibly busy. And who can blame them? I mean, we're in college. We've um, got a million different things going on right now. We're thinking about essays. We're thinking about like you know what we're going to be doing over the weekend. We're thinking about what we're going to be doing next week. We're not thinking about how is my how should I be standing up there? How should I be making sure that I'm doing this like you know important civic? I don't want to say the word duty because mm -hmm. it makes it feel really clunky but making sure that you're getting your voice out there in the most effective way that you can. What do you think are some ways that are like easy for a college student to get more involved into voting and register? Well, I mean, we've got plenty of student groups across campus that are currently doing this sort of project. They're making sure that they're reaching out to students. They're kind of basically doing all of the hard stuff to make sure that students are registering to vote. and. So I would just suggest that every single student take advantage of these opportunities. Almost every day in the Campus Center, you see students at a table with registration forms. It takes five minutes. And not only that, but it's like the easiest five minutes ever because yeah. you literally have somebody telling you how to do it. It just takes a whole lot of the pressure off of you, and it makes it so that you can have your political voice. You can actually make yourself an effective member of the American electorate. You can make sure that you're actually doing your part in getting all of these issues that you care about across. And a lot of people think, I don't know enough about this issue. Mm -hmm. I can't vote, why should I? Because what made you get into voting or to uh, spread this message? Me specifically, uh, yeah. it was just picking up my political science major, getting more politically engaged, and then realizing that students actually do have a lot of important opinions across the entire political spectrum. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're liberal or conservative. You're young, you have a voice, and if you're not registering to vote, then politicians aren't going to care as much if you're just not voting in the first place. They're not going to look to you in terms of, well, I've got to think of what I'm going to vote into law. I've got to think about what I'm going to turn into a policy that's going to affect millions of people. And they just don't think of students. And a lot of students are in what's called a safe district, which means you're registered to vote even, maybe you're registered to vote, but you're registered to vote in a district where it's always the same representative. You haven't seen any change in the last 20 years. Your representative is safe. And honestly, one more vote by one more student isn't going to make much of a difference, which is why I'd suggest people register to vote right here in Oswego. Because Oswego is in a swing district, which means that you have the benefit of it going back and forth. You've got a lot of very moderate um, people in this district, which means that it could be Republican one year, but Democratic the next. It gives voters a lot more flexibility in who they're going to be putting their vote behind because you know that your voice isn't going to be drowned out. Um, so I suggest that students actually put their voice right here in Oswego. Find those students who are registering people and tell them 
Vote right here in Oswego's district. Vote right here in Oswego this elections. This is a great message. <laughs> I think a lot message. of students need to hear it because mm -hmm. they think that they don't matter for whatever reason. We might think that we're too young, but we do matter. <laughs> Our voices are very important. But we're going to get into a fun little game. Right. Like it's going to be very much more lighter than the topic. Sounds good. Um, the rules of the game are yay or nay. So oh, either yeah. you're for it be or game. you're against it. It's kind of a, like a fun little voting game. Okay. Kinda. Sounds good. All right, my first question is, do you think Kanye's mental health is an excuse for his action? Yay or nay? Nay. Why? Yes, why? Well, I mean, I don't want to get into uh, Kanye's mental health. All I know is that as a very popular figure of American society, uh, he has a really big position. He has a very big voice in our popular culture, in the way we talk about things, in the stuff that we see on TV. And I think that there's a certain amount of responsibility there. We talk about okay. politicians being responsible for issues, but I also think it's our celebrities. I think it's our newscasters. I think everybody who sits themselves in front of a television, who puts themselves on the radio, is respons morally responsible. It doesn't matter if you're a television host or maybe you're the owner of a newspaper or something. A moral responsibility to Americans to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward that you're truly representing the best issues that you can. And like with everything that goes into having a position, like Kanye West does, I think that it's important that you are definitely representing yourself best you can because your voice does matter to lots of people. And when something like that does come up, like the whole SNL uh, skit <coughs> debacle, it can really put you in the wrong light and it can really put your issues in the wrong light. And overall, it just kind of makes a mess of everything. Mm -hmm. Let's get into a lighter one. Let's right. yeah. get into a fun one. <laughs> a fun one. <laughs> Mel Rompers, yay or nay? <laughs> yay. Yay? Are really? You for it? Well, okay. I, why not? I'm, I'm shocked. I'm for it. Rob, would you wear a Mel Romper? Maybe not me, oh. but it's not like I'm, I, I'm not going to judge somebody for wearing it. Because, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, why not? I, all I could see is a problem. You go into the bathroom, and then what are you supposed to do with it? Uh, yeah. That's true. It, yeah. It's pretty rough. Okay, um, let's wrap it up on another fun question. Yeah, Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Which one's better? I don't know. Like, honestly, when it comes to the two of them, <laughs> I don't I know am. either of them really well. I just know Cardi B You're not B an informed Super Bowl citizen. citizen. Yeah, you gotta How be can you vote? <laughs> How can you truly vote about without so many knowing Cardi things, B and Nicki? Yeah, we that. don't know her. This is the best. <laughs> This is the best election of our generation, yeah. Nikki or Cardi. Well, oh, God. Thank you for joining us, Thank you us, so Connor. much for joining us. Absolutely. And remember, guys, guys, please register to vote. October 12th is the last day, right? Yes. yes. And I know that all sorts of student groups are going to be putting in all of their time and energy to be making sure that you're getting registered. So just take them up on it. Yes. They're trying okay. to help you out. So thank you so much for watching. Our and very please first come episode. back in two more weeks. We will be back with more tea. Thank you. Have a good night. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Is how are you precious? Okay. Mm. Take out the pressure. It's way too cheesy. Okay, yeah. Just go, sure. hey, how are you? Nope. How's your day? Yeah. Oh, don't be cheesy. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, uh, what'd she say? She's still typing. I'm not sure. She never takes this long. Huh. I wouldn't worry about it. Give it a few minutes. Okay.